Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be finishing up our three-part series on EDC Las Vegas. Ba -ba -ba -ba. We are going to be talking about the budget breakdown of EDC and how much I spent last year, how much you're going to spend this year. I'm going to give you some tips at the end of this video, ways where you can save money because a lot of this stuff you just plain can't save your money because it's so expensive. By the way, disclaimer, all of the prices are going to be in Canadian dollars and at the very end, I'll total everything up and convert it to US dollars for those of you who are coming from the US. Okay, let's go. First thing we're gonna be talking about is flights. And I am not gonna lie to you guys, this is where a big chunk of your money is gonna be spent. It's sad because there's nothing you could do about it. It's just a play. But I do have some fun facts. I basically live in Canada, so if you're Canadian and you're attending EDC, I'm sorry, everything is just gonna be a little bit more expensive because of the damn exchange rate. And that's just the way it is. Research your flights on an incognito browser, one that doesn't track any of your search history. Believe it or not, websites actually track what flights you're interested in and then they raise the prices because you want to go there it's like really messed up but it actually happens trust me i live pretty close to the border i actually ended up driving to seattle and flying out of bellingham it was a lot cheaper for me to do that instead of just flying from where i live in british columbia another thing that i recommend is an app called hopper it's basically an app that looks at the cheapest flights for you so it tracks where you want to go it tracks all the flight prices and it alerts you when it's a good time for you to purchase your flight i spent 670 dollars on my entire flight there and back from las vegas i flew with allegiant airlines i didn't find there was anything wrong with them however since it's one of the cheaper airlines i literally had to pay for absolutely everything else like my bag was 50 dollars to bring on you just kind of have to be wary of that like sometimes it's actually worth it to go with a more expensive airline just because all those prices are included it just depends where you're coming from and you know what you want to bring with you so that's okay i also drove there so i paid for parking in total for this category i spent 780 dollars getting to and from las vegas okay next category is the tickets edc 2020 is already sold out so i'm not going to spend a lot of time on this but i got a general admission ticket last year i bought it pretty late so i spent a little bit more on it and my ticket cost $600. I think most of the shuttle passes are sold out as well. However, I bought a VIP shuttle pass. It was 330 Canadian dollars. I would try to get a shuttle pickup location that's close to the hotel you're staying at, if not at the hotel you're staying at, because sometimes you have to Uber to your shuttle pickup location, which is super dumb, so don't do that. If you're not looking at a shuttle pass and you're wondering how much an Uber is from the strip to the venue, it's around 80 to $100 in total. It just depends where you're being picked up from. And if you're splitting it with your friends, then pretty cheap, honestly. Next, we are going to talk about hotel. There's totally different options for this. You can stay with a friend, you can get an Airbnb, but most people just book through hotel. Okay, so we stayed treasure island basically my friends were in another room and then in my room it was me one other girl and there was two big beds in it so i ended up actually spending more than i would have liked to on a hotel just because we only had two of us in a room we stayed for four nights just for edc we didn't stay for edc week it was 147 dollars a night for me so in total i spent 590 dollars for my half of the room, which I thought was so expensive. I highly, highly, highly recommend do not stay at that hotel. It was the worst experience ever. There's no shuttle pass pickup at Treasure Island. It's at the end of the strip, so it's far away from everything. It's one of the cheaper hotels, but holy, I wish I knew how horrible it was so I could spend more money and stay anywhere else. First of all, the cleaning lady stole my Tiffany necklace and I had to get a new one. I was so, so mad i was like crying the staff are so rude when you tip them they say that it's not enough money and they want more money oh my gosh like this guy i was carrying my bag to my room and it was like not even a big deal he was like racing after me and he's like let me hold that and i was like no i'm fine like it's just like a little bag and he's like grabbed it from me and then we literally walked like down the hall and he was like tip and i was like are you serious right now like i didn't even need your help like i was like okay and i gave him like two bucks but like just so frustrating 
And the worst part is when we got there, we had two double beds and that was the room that we booked like a couple months in advance. I got there first because I flew separately. The people were like, no, you can't go in the room. You can't check in until the girl whose name it's under gets there. And I was like, I'm just letting you know, like I'm here. Like when the girl gets here, like we'll come back and check in at two o'clock. Like that's the check-in time, two o'clock. He's like, okay. So we come back at two o'clock and the people are like, sorry, we gave away your room. What do you mean gave away? Like we bought it, like we paid the money, we purchased, like what do you mean gave away? This is not like, oh, uh, like what do you mean? Like sleep on the street? And he's like, yeah, sorry. So you're gonna have to like stay in a more deluxe room. We're like, okay, I'll see you, i see you. We get a free room upgrade, this is great. He's like, no, you have to pay for it. I was like, hold on. I was here at like 8 a.m. and I was saying like, I'm here like check me in and you said no and you knew I was here and then you gave away the rooms that we already Oh my god, you guys my friend was like yelling at the man. It was such bad situation almost forced us to pay 400 extra dollars don't stay at treasure island on a more positive note I have heard wonderful things about the Luxor, Best Western, and the Excalibur. Those are also the three cheaper hotels that you can stay at on the Strip. Luxor Hotel has a shuttle pickup spot and hosts the I Heart Raves pop-up shop, which I highly recommend going to because it's decently priced, it's good stuff, and it's, it's really cool to actually purchase in person for once and not online. That's a good one, okay? Also, if you want to spend a little bit more money, the MGN Grand I've stayed at before. It's a really good location. The rooms are super nice. The hotel is beautiful and it has a pool club attached to it. So you don't have to go anywhere if you do have enough energy to party in a day. Next, we're going to talk about insurance. A lot of people that live in the US, I don't think they need it because I think their insurance is country ride. Ride, country ride, woo. Okay, no. Their insurance is country wide. Since I'm going to a whole other country to attend this festival i purchased insurance and i think it was like 40 dollars. it wasn't very expensive however i highly recommend that if you guys are booking hotels and you guys are booking flights that you upgrade your insurance cancellation insurance because of the coronavirus i don't know if y'all saw what happened to tomorrowland winter or miami ultra miami is a huge festival and now they've postponed it like yeah they canceled it bro like they canceled the music festival because of the coronavirus and now i'm scared they're gonna do it to edc make sure you purchase all the proper insurance so y'all don't get screwed just keep that in mind okay okay oh that's 40 dollars for me that's what i spent Next, we're going into the unknown land of alcohol and food. So I budgeted 250 Canadian to 300 Canadian dollars, and I actually did stay in that budget. Uh, when I talk about prices inside the festival here, these are going to be American dollars. So they have free water refill stations, and all of the rides are free, so don't worry about that. So I would say that it's about 10 to 15 dollars if you want to buy some food. You can get up to 20 dollars if you're going for like some weird meat extravaganza the water in the red bull inside is around four dollars for each of them the lemonade is thirteen dollars and if you're actually getting a drink drink like a drink drink a drink drink inside the festival it's about 14 to 22 american dollars or depending if it's a single or a double and like the grade of alcohol that you get which is so expensive so i really highly highly recommend for you to pre-drink i have a wonderful hack of how i snuck an alcohol into edc for all three days last year and didn't get caught so check it out baby let's go so also merch prices are actually pretty reasonable i was quite surprised and there's merch stands from all different artists all different companies all different labels i recommend buying merch like 100 and i didn't because i'm just stupid i don't know what the heck i was doing i was like i'm trying to save money oh my god no what my friend did was actually really smart is she purchased merch after she started to get cold on one of the days and then she bought a sweater so she didn't have to carry it around with her all day oh so we're just gonna total up how much money i've spent at edc and then i'm gonna give you some very quick tips on how to save money when you're planning slash attending edc las vegas uh, let's go we got 780 dollars for the flight we got 600 dollars for the ticket we got 330 dollars for the vip shuttle 590 on the hotel, $40 on insurance, and around $250 to $300 for food, alcohol, and merch, which I didn't buy. Totaling everything up, it's $2,640 Canadian, also $1,970 USD.
if I was part of the original organization committee of my friend group, like I could have knocked off probably around $400 of that whole situation, but I was the last one on the bandwagon for EDC last year. So I paid that price for that. So, okay, now just quick tips on how to save money. Obviously, number one, the more people that you have in your group, the cheaper it's going to be. So if you have two, get one bed in a hotel room. If you have four, fill up that hotel room with two beds only. I would recommend having an even number of people. Faux show. Booking your hotel, it's not like flights. You should book it as soon as you possibly can because the prices are only going to go up closer to the date. You don't have to use a private browser. Just book the hotel with your friends and you're good to go. Okay? Okay. Also, sneak in alcohol. Do what you can to sneak it in because seriously, it's too expensive inside. Also, food is expensive inside and I didn't really find I got too hungry because it's an overnight festival. So I just brought some unopened, you know, snacks with me inside. I got a couple granola bars and it just kind of keeps you going. Like I only bought food, I think the last day on the last night. But my friends purchased it all the time because they were more hungry than me. The most hungry that you get is on the way home on your shuttle bus because it's like you haven't eaten all night, you're sobering up, you're tired and you're hungry AF. So granola bar for the ride home when you're picking your hotel if you already have your shuttle pass book your hotel as close to your shuttle pass pick up spot as possible because we spent like so much money wasted on ubers and taxis just because we had to freaking uber to our shuttle pickup spot just be organized you know be smart be safe protect yourself from the coronavirus if you go if you guys want to comment down below how much money you spent in the past or how much money you are planning on spending this year and also whereabouts you live or are coming from that would be an amazing help to anybody else watching this video and we can all just be little way friends together okay okay have a good EDC everybody thanks for listening you know like subscribe do what you need to do save some money y'all and have a good EDC